Welcome in everybody. Before we get into this morning's update, I want to go over a quick synopsis of what transpired overnight. So as we know, XRP fell down to around the 44 and a half cent area, depending on which exchange you're looking at. And currently, we've had the return rally, and now it's one of those things. We've come back up to the 4705 level. We have 471 over the top and also 477. The most likely scenario here is you're either going to get rejected by 471 or 477 to confirm this pattern breakdown. It would be very bearish if we got rejected at 471 as that's where the pattern actually, the over extension broke. And we showed three different areas back in the pattern. Why we had to lend um, credence to the 471 area. The 477 was the main support, but we had the over extension down to 471 and every time it quick wicked down there, it would pop back up and was able to push up a little bit. This time it got rejected at the 471 um, after a breakthrough and forced it down to like the 44 and a half, 45 cent area. Now we need to see if we get that validation on the rejection here because if we do, we're gonna finish this move down to 44 cents at the bottom of the inverted head and shoulders neckline, which is also the bottom of the broadening wedge. Now, if we wanna have any kind of hope here, we need to first break 471 and ultimately get past 477. That is the urgency right now. Anything short of that, this pattern looks very bearish and we could be in a problem. Now, the good thing about this is if we do break back above, this would be a quick wick down. Yes, we had a daily candle close, but the reversal pattern would be so quickly that we could try to push back up. But if this is turning into the J hook, as I like to call it, this is a very, very bearish signal this morning. So we're gonna take a very close look at that. Remember, positivity over negativity. Nobody's the victim here. We're not gonna play the victim, we're winners. We play the winner. So having the winning mindset and making winning plays at the most stressful of times, when things become easy, and non-stressful we'll be able to make the the winning plays without that stress but right now it's our job to put ourselves in the proper positioning yesterday we talked about the sap and ripple connection also xrp so i encourage you to go watch that live it's got 13 or 1400 views um but it's probably one of the single best videos i ever put out so if you didn't watch that yesterday i encourage you it's an hour and five minutes if you want to know the connection with SAP, with their partnership with Visa, the $50 trillion partnership, and the tie-in with XRP and Ripple, I brought you it from 2016 and 2018 and tied it together. So it's something you're not going to want to miss. Make sure you hit that like button. It will greatly help push me through the analytics. And I'll catch you on the other side of the intro. Good morning, 9.37 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on this Thursday, June 29th, 2023. I'm XRP Future Millionaire, and I reside in the great state of Michigan. So I want to go over this real quickly with the gold. So gold right now, as we talked about, it was having a breakdown. We're looking for a targeted area around $1,840 to see if we can hold that. If not, it could be a little stressful situation for gold and silver, but this is nothing new. Anybody who's watching, this is standard operating procedure. We actually could be at that, that uptrending support line right now with gold. That's a critical area of support. If we lose this, and I'm not saying we're going to come all the way back down here, but I've been watching these areas just to see how far gold and silver will actually push down. Right now, we've got a major area of support that we're actually looking at. at uh, this is the uptrending support right here. So if we're going to catch 1892 is the first spot. And then if we don't catch there, we're going to have to come down to 1840. So right now, extra, or, uh, um, gold is doing exactly what we anticipated. If you look at the daily time frame, we call the death or the bearish cross in the daily. And now if that 200 day support breaks, we're going to have to come down to 1840. So that's the next level. So right now we're in a tremendous area with gold. We've been keeping our eye on, as I told you about B2 Gold. I said, it's not time to buy yet, but we're watching it for one of two areas. One, we see how it reacts here to $3.38, but I've already talked about how I don't wanna buy 
until we come to the bottom of the pattern at 313. We've had the dot cross now confirmed. So we're gonna see exactly what happens with B2 Gold, but that's what I've been targeting. I've got $3,000 set for this uh, purchase. I just don't know if I'm gonna buy it at 312 or if it's gonna break through and I'm gonna get a much better buying opportunity, but commodities right now and gold, it's gonna have its little dump down. I'm looking for a hold here and then a massive breakout is what I'm looking for. Remember, we sold up here, let it ride down, came back up, and now we're waiting for this pattern to reconsolidate somewhere in here. So that's what I've been waiting for. So pay attention to gold. I wanted to do a quick update because gold's bottoming out a little bit here. And it's had a bearish cross in the daily. As the DXY is pushing up here, which could make it a little bit of uh, instability for crypto, this looks like it could possibly be having this volatile swing back up like we've been waiting for. So we'll see if they actually push up the US dollar. Something tells me we're about to have a volatile spike up. So just be aware. Silver's at 2230. The gold silver ratio is at 84.671. So please, if you haven't bought any precious metal, silver is the most valuable and most undervalued commodity or just purchase you can buy in the world, in my opinion. So silver right now, we've had that bearish cross like gold. To me, it looks like we're on the bottom side and we're going to come back down here. To me, there's no question we're coming back down to the $19 area. That's just something I've been watching for a long time. And it's also why I'm ready to stack up here when we get down to the bottom. So just pay attention to that with precious metals. Now with XRP, we're at 4707. XRP needs to get back. So we broke down. I'm going to show you the all-time pattern as well where we go down to the 2020 uptrend. But I'm going to show you how we held... A formation yesterday that I drew out and said until we break this pattern we can still try to pretend that we're still bullish so right now we came through pushed above the 462 like we we're supposed to now we're back up to the 471 and if we look at this we have a bearish cross in the daily but in the 30 minute time frame we've gotten back on top of the short term now the main thing we need to do here is on the two hour time frame that's a perfect rejection point right here we don't have any return volume that sell volume, we had 5.25 million. The high candle here, we have 1.795. That's probably not going to get the job done. And if this turns into a fake J hook, it's going to be a big problem. It's going to be a big problem because if we reverse back down, we're going to 44 cents. If you want XRP to show some kind of strength, you've got to get back over 477 and hold it. It's that simple. Right now, we're at the, we're at the break even point, which that's never good on a return rally back up after a deep dive. This is where a rejection at 471 or 477 could be detrimental. But at 471, this would confirm a breakdown to 44 cents. If we do lose 471 and you see a slip back below 462, we're done. So no reason to sugarcoat it this morning. XRP needs to get above 471. Hold that and attempt to start reversing back up. Anything short of being above 477 and ultimately pushing 494, this looks like it could very easily reverse back down to 44 cents. While I have your attention, let's look at XLM real quick. It broke out of that falling channel, which is in the ascending triangle pattern, but it was in the falling channel coming from the top side of the resistance to the support. Now XLM is trying to put in a bullish, uh, this looks like a bull flag here. If it does do this and breaks above 10.69 and holds, this could be a push out attempt to like the 11.4 area. So just pay attention with XLM. It's very, very important if it does push out. If it is running out of steam, it's very easy. XLM will just break back down to its four hour support, which right now it's done it a couple times, but it's right at about 986. So we're gonna see what happens with XLM and then do jabri, and then I gotta go. GGB still very much so in this descending triangle. It almost has a golden cross formed. If it can get back up and break the 699 level and get on top of it. We'd be looking for a push up, not just the 747, but ultimately to the top of this descending triangle at 00816. So that's what we're looking at this morning. If we were to break this down, DGB's next line of support is at 00295. So it's going to be very tricky. I'm XRP Future Millionaire. If you got anything out of this update, make sure you hit that like button. Consider subscribing to the channel. And also, if you appreciate my work, if you want to show some support, you can join Tom's Army. It's in the video description below and or pinned comments. There's a mission statement of why it's so important, how you can become an integral part of me putting out my content. So I just want to thank everybody for tuning in. And remember, keep that positive mindset, keep the emotions in check, and we're going to um, let the charts 
determine our perception of the patterns we're looking at and form an opinion of what's going to happen next. And remember, positivity over negativity. I want helpful hands in here. I want helpful minds and the ones who are very, very involved but are willing to help someone who doesn't know as much.